Hello, Sagittarius. We're going to do a reading for the week ahead. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment. If you would like to be entered to win a free personal reading, I give away one every week. Winners are drawn at random and announced on Sundays. To be entered for that, you're going to want to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Hashtag the week ahead. Okay. All one word in the comments below. Hashtag the week ahead. All right. Also, if you'd like to purchase an in-depth personal reading, I'm still doing $10 off. We're having a lot of fun doing those. Um, all you need to do is shoot me an email and that, that'll that get you taken care of. We'll get you booked. All right, guys. General reads. Cannot, will not resonate for everyone. Take what resonates for you. Leave the rest. Check those other placements. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Cross watchers, welcome. There is no gender in tarot. All right, I'm going to put you on one side. This, the energy you'll be dealing with or the person or whatever it is on this side, feel free to flip it around if you need to. Also, a lot of times we're going to mix up both energy, okay? Both people, both situations on both sides. So just take it as it comes. Bottom of the deck, the magician. Look at you. Look at you. All right, Sagittarius. We've got the king of pentacles and the six of coins. We've got the Seven of Cups and the Three of Wands. We've got the Ten of Cups and the Six of Wands. This deck is very different. Aesthetically, it's different. The colors are different. The messages are the same, and it's based on the traditional tarot, but I really do like this deck. All right, the other side, Queen of Swords and the Knight of Coins. Death and the Hanged Woman, such as it is in this deck. Scorpio energy, Pisces energy. And we've got the Princess or the Page of Coins and the Ace of Wands. All right. With that Magician on the bottom of the deck. All right. Let's do it. So King of Coins, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, doesn't have to be, okay? Um, some of you could be Cuspers, right? All right, so the King of Coins, what is this? What is the King of Coins? The, so this King of Coins is in deep thought about something. They are really thinking about um, whether or not they want to give to a situation, what the payback or what, they, what the investment on the return on their investment will be. So give me one more. What is the seven of pentacles for the king of pentacles? Yeah, seven of cups. And we've got the seven of cups here. It's like, um, you may not have all the information, all the clarity that they need. There still may be some confusion, but they are really thinking about investing in something. Giving to a situation. Six of pentacles here. That's the, the justice card in the minor arcana, right? What is this six of pentacles for Sagittarius? Four of swords. They are thinking very honestly about, about investing in a situation, in a person, in a relationship. Okay. Three of cups. This is, you know, something that has the capacity to make them very, very happy. What is this seven of cups? The devil. I feel like this person is very worried about this situation. Is it something they should get involved in? Is it something they shouldn't get involved in? Um, they're confused. Death. This is big energy, you guys. I feel like... Let me just take all this in for a minute. This person may want the truth from a situation. And they're trying to figure out how to get it. This could be you. This could be your person. I'm going to tell you, I feel like this person wants the truth, okay, so that they can move forward and be happy or whatever this is. The problem is that this confusion 
isn't going anywhere. It's like there's something there that they need to see, something they need to realize, some hurdle, some something they need to triumph over before they can uh, move forward. What's this three of wands? It's like, it's all about timing. There's, there's something that needs to, that they need to find out. There's something that needs to come to them before they can move forward. Yeah. The four of, of pentacles. And it's not, there's no, there's no movement right now. They're desperately searching for the truth or trying to analyze this and find answers and find the truth. And they're really struggling. I feel like there's somebody blocking the truth from them, blocking information, blocking um, something. I feel like there's somebody here who wants to control the narrative. That's what I feel like. I don't know who this is. That's like they're doing it because they feel like they have no other options, like their hands are tied. And in order to win at something, to be victorious, they have to control the narrative and they have to keep this level of confusion or, you know. I don't know how I'm, what I'm trying to say. They, they're just not letting things come to the surface. They're not letting somebody find out the truth. Six of Wands and the Emperor. Um, this is somebody who is controlling, okay, who wants to control the narrative, who wants victory in this. But the problem is that they're not, they're not being honest. They're not on the up and up. And this isn't going to go well for them. The fool. I think that this is all going to come to the surface and somebody's going to bail and they're going to be left looking like fool. That's what I think. So here we have this queen of swords, nine of pentacles. You know, this person is truthful. This person, um, I think is this person is single and they're honest. Could be you, could be your person, but I feel like it's whatever is going on over here. There may certainly be a third party trying to keep these two from coming together for whatever reason. Yeah, but this person is honest and they're going to speak the truth. Um, but there's something going on. It's like somebody wants something for themselves or for their own happiness. They just have ulterior motives. And they're keeping the people around them confused and sidetracked and off topic and Knight of Pentacles. This may have even been going on for a while. It's going to end though. Successful completion of a karmic cycle. Whoever this devil energy is, this devil seven of cups causing confusion, this toxic, toxic, toxic person causing confusion, it's going to end. Yeah, and people are going to move forward at the expense of this other person. It's going to cost them everything. We have the death card. So here we have this transformation. This cycle is going to end. Somebody is going to catch on with this hanged this hanged man here. They're going to see what's happening. All right. What's this death card? Yep, it's all going to fall apart. Could we be dealing with a Scorpio? Don't have to be. It's all going to fall apart. This illusion that they're creating is going to just come tumbling down around them. And it's going to cost them their happiness. Okay, so this hanged man or hanged woman in this deck, you know, somebody's going to see what's going on. Page of Pentacles. And they're finally going to make an offer to, to this person or to you, right? Because they realize that things aren't what they seem. Honest communication, because timing, right? It's like now they're facing the right direction. All this information is coming in. They've turned their back on the past, on this person causing drama. And with this page of coin, again, they want to either apologize or offer something. 
um, yeah, they, they're up in their head about it because they may have been painted to be a bad guy or, or you, they, someone painted the other person to them as a bad guy. But I feel like it's just, it's just a big sloppy flipping mess. Yeah, there is a lot of love here and there's a lot of, of that energy of, I'm sorry that this happened. I care about you, right? So Ace of Wands, this new beginning is coming. Nobody can stop it now, right? King of Wands, there you are. You're going to get this passionate new beginning. Yeah. Because you've you've learned what people are up to. I feel like this is you learning. You're going to get a soulmate out of this, okay? Mm -hmm. So here we have the Magician and the Six of Cups. Um I feel like, you know, you're manifesting your person and there is going to be an end to anything manipulative with that 10 of swords. Um, three of three of pentacles. It's it, you guys are finally going to be able to build a future four of cups. You know, you've hung on to this, this seven of pentacles, this wanting to make this investment for your happiness, right? There is a lot of love here and you are moving forward. Empress energy. So there is, you know, a cycle here that's coming to a close of somebody really trying to get in between this couple, really trying to get in between, you know, cause drama, cause problems, keep the truth from, you know, from you and your person. Hmm. That's an interesting read. All right, Sagittarius, uh, this is what I have for you. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you'd like to enter um, to win a free personal reading, you're going to want to comment below hashtag the week ahead. If you'd like to book an in-depth personal reading, just shoot me an email. Everything you need is in the description box below. And I'm sending you tons of love and light until next time.